Really grateful to have uh, Brother Shaker Burdwali and Mrs. Saima Devi. Thank you for coming. Um, Brother Shaker um, hails from a well known educational institution in the country in India, uh, namely Guntur, from where uh, Professor Anil Kumar and my wife also comes. And uh, he, he went to his school and uh, college in that town. And uh, that, that town has also produced many scholars of which he has joined one as one in Telugu, Sanskrit and English, and as well as in economics. So uh, he earned his uh, PhD in biochemistry from the prestigious Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, and held research faculty appointments in biochemistry at the uh, University of Texas uh, Southwestern Medical Center in Dallas, Texas. Uh, with over 15, 18 years of experience in research and development, and with over 25 publications, and are you ready for 35 patents? Um, Shaker served as the VP of Discovery at Galileo Pharmaceuticals and Global Consumer R&D, lead for Monsanto Company. His current quest for the past maybe 20 years is uh, on the Vedas and the Veda Mantras, especially the Rudram, Sri Rudram, and Devi Mahatmya. And uh, I will suffice it now to say that he led the uh, 2002 charm, which is the which is the Chandi Sahitya Atirudra Mahayagnam in um, Sacramento, California, this, earlier this month, actually middle of this month. It's interesting that it only finished about two weeks ago and he's here again with us, I'm so happy. Um, so he comes, uh, he, he comes to us from Sacramento, California and his wife is here, we are thankful to both of them. He's, he's gonna speak with us for the next uh, 20 minutes or so about the details of the charm, uh, the Atridhar Mahayagnam we had at, uh, at, at uh, Sacramento earlier this month. Vishnu Shesivarnam Chaturbhujam Prasanna Vadanam Dhyayet Starva Vigno Pashantayet Agaja Anana Padmarkam Gaja Anana Maharnisham Aneka Dam Dam Bhatta Upasmahe 
गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुदेव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षा पर ब्रह्मा तस्म हृदाकाशे सदा भात शात आनंदिण ज्ञान भानु अह वंदे सद्गु सद्गु सत्य सीगुरव श्री सत्य साईनाथ श्रीपादुका पूजयानी नम श्री परम गुरवे शिरडी साईनाथ श्रीपादुका पूजयानी नम ओ श्री परमेष्टि गुरवे श्री दत्तात्रेय श्रीपादुका पूजया नम हनुमान अंजना सुनु वायुपुत्रो महाबल रामेष्ट फलगुण सकग पिंदाक्ष अमित विक्रम क्रमण सीताशोक विनाशक लक्ष्मण प्राणदाता च दशग्रीव से दर्पण द्वादशता कपींद्रश्य महात्म स्वापकाले पठे नीच यात्रा काले विशेषत तस्य मृत्यु भयन्नास्ति सर्वत्र विजयी बे जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम पवन सुत हनु मान की जय 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 सिया पति राम चंद्र की जय सिया पति राम चंद्र की जय सिया पति राम चंद्र की जय भवन सुत हनु मान की जय पवन सुत हनु मान की जय पराक्रम आंजने की जय पराक्रम आंजने की जय पराक्रम आंजने की जय पति पुरी साईनाथ की जय पति पुरी साईनाथ 
चंद्र की श्रीडी पुरी साईनाथ की पति पुरी साईनाथ की समस्त भक्त मंडली की ओम श्री साई राम गुड मॉर्निंग एंड इन द हाफ एन आवर फिफ्टीन मिनट्स आई विल बी सिंगिंग ओनली because uh, this heart doesn't want to speak it's only want to extol the glory of bhagwan what is there to speak other than singing his name and extolling his glory for this life palikedi di bhagavata mata palikinchedu vaadu sai ram undata ne palikina bhava hara magunata palikeda verundu ga adha palukaga neela the one who is speaking is sai rama what is being spoken about is bhagavatam means transformation <laughs> not bhagavatam bhagavatam swami says bhagavatam bhagavatam in telugu means will become better will get transformed so palikinchadu vaadu sai ram undata ne palikina bhava hara magunata if we just think about it speak about it then there is no rebirth there is no coming and going again there is no more coming back పలికిన భవహర మగునట పలికెద వేరెండు గాథ వై టాక్ అబౌట్ ఎనిథింగ్ ఎల్స్ బట్ వై స్పీక్ ఎట్ ఆల్ పలుకగ నేల వై స్పీక్ అబౌట్ బికాస్ ఇన్ ద ప్రెజెన్స్ ఆఫ్ భగవాన్ థింగ్స్ హ్యాపెన్ సో పర్ఫెక్ట్లీ అండ్ సో ఫ్లాలెస్లీ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఓన్లీ పర్ఫెక్ట్నెస్ దట్ డిఫైన్స్ హూ భగవాన్ ఈస్ that charmingly defines who bhagwan is and uh, what uh, we have uh, you know i have uh, it's not a coincidence absolutely the purpose of us coming to this east coast is to have bhagwan's darshan here in sarvadharma center that is the main purpose of coming here there is no other reason <laughs> because uh, i because hanuman is also present here <laughs> <laughs> so you can have sai rama and hanuman's darshan both at the same time yeah so hanuman's presence is so profoundly found here where bhagwan's work is done hanuman's presence has to be there yatra yatra raghunath kirtanam tatra tatra krutam stakanjali bhashpavari paripurna lochanam marutim namata rakshasantakam where the name of god is sung and his name of uh, under his name service is done the first person that is always present is hanuman before even god comes to into picture because his love for swami is so immense and intense that nothing else matters in life other than loving and serving bhagwan and the reason why i am invoking hanuman here is because hanuman was the brahma for the yajnam that we conducted hmm? every time yajna is conducted 
you have to you, you have to have a brahma who actually supervises he is the coo of the entire thing chief operating officer and that brahma doesn't do anything except make sure everything is fall in place everything is done perfectly and supervises the entire thing so for the charm yagna that we conducted hanuman was the brahma first remember this that's the reason why we invoked hanuman and why hanuman is a brahma brahma why hanuman is brahma huh? why hanuman is brahma because hanuman is the epitome and the definition of the three letters s a i there is nobody else in this entire universe that will define s a i to its core and that is hanuman nobody else and hence when we say ram lakshman janaki bhagwan says jai bolo hanuman i have seen this and students are singing ram lakshman janaki bhagwan says jai bolo hanuman ki because who else he wants more than his devotee that has absolutely unflinched attention towards the work of bhagwan in all the three aspects s a i the s representing you know already huh Yes, representing service. Hello, yeah. Please wake up and be part of the satsang. <laughs> I know it's too early in the morning. Some of you driving too long distances. Uh, and a adoration, I as illumination. We are thinking S A I is some five foot three inch Afro haired Indian dude. S A I doesn't define that. S A I is hundred percent. the way of life where s is service a is adoration i is illumination why all of this stuff aham brahmasmi i am god i am god i am god huh? why you need this service and adoration why you can't directly illumination and why is hanuman the absolute ultimate example of this you all know the story right what bhagwan told about hanuman yeah? and materialized uh, uh, most of you know the uh, swami materialized a beautiful muttiyala mala a pearl necklace once in front of students and then he said this is the pearl necklace that mother sita adorned on hanuman after during the time of pattabhishekam it's a beautiful pattabhisheka sarga if you read in valmiki ramayanam you will notice that rama was giving everything to everybody to sugriva to to all these other people to vibhishana to all these other people only mother sita gave this pearl necklace exclusively to hanuman nobody else she gave any gift he is the only one who got a gift from the mother directly and how ecstatic one would be receiving a pearl necklace you should see that picture i'm sure, sure it is there in uh, uh, so i will uh, what i will do is uh, just tell the story and we'll come back to cham in the context of these three letters s a i this is the preamble 15 minutes gone for bhajan 15 minutes for hanuman <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when he got this pearl necklace we will be ecstatic and what we will do thank you mother and we will put on our on our on our uh, this thing immediately like swami gives the gift while bhagwan gives a ring out you won't even wait oh my god and then everybody else is uh, crowding around hanuman didn't do that what hanuman did was he took this necklace put it each bead at his ear and then started plucking one after another out with his teeth mother was shocked she said what are you doing monkey business <laughs> uh then he said mother i'm checking if each of these pearls say the name of my lord rama in every atom of the universe he was listening the name of rama and then mother asked is uh, then is it so that you listen to the name of rama in everything then he plucks a hair follicle put at the mother's ear and it says 
राम 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 रोम रोम में राम है इन एवरी हेयर फॉलिकल ऑफ हनुमान रामा इज प्रेजेंट दैट इज हाउ मच इज सैचुरेटेड विद द लव फॉर हिज लॉर्ड and then she asked this beautiful question then he opens his chest and ramachandra was there right in his heart and the mother asked the question if you are yourself sri rama then why do you ra- why do you serve rama why do you have to serve rama you are rama no i am god i am god i don't need to come to the sai center <laughs> uh, i am god i am god i don't i don't need to come to sai center i don't need to do service aham brahmasmi i am god then why come to sai center why put uh, all this paraphernalia but then hanuman very beautifully explains deha buddhya tu daso ham jeeva buddhya swadamsho ham atma buddhya tvameva ham jeeva buddhya tu daso ham sorry deha buddhya tu daso ham when i feel i am this body i am the servant when i am the senses i am his reflection in spirit he and i are one it's only in spirit that swami and we are one not as body and the mind if you have to khana peena sona marna for the body you have to do the service therefore bhagwan said that is the definition of sai what do you do with the body serve what do you do with the senses adore what do you do in spirit and the mind illumination bhagwan summarized what this sai in three beautiful sentences bend the body mend the senses end the mind this is the essence of what a human being is and therefore s for service a for adoration i for illumination defines who bhagwan is in our daily lives not who bhagwan is in true spirit because we cannot understand the entire humanity put together the intelligence of humanity put together now that existed before and will be existing in the future all of it put together will not know who bhagwan is it is not an object of experience it is not a person of relationship it is true in spirit and that would be what charm is and we'll come back why it is so if you still want to stay tuned we'll be right back jay sai ram <laughs> om sai ram sai ram brothers and sisters welcome today to um sarva dharma service center which is located in farmingdale borough of howell township new jersey usa we are pleased to host today a talk by brother shekhar borupalli uh, brother shekhar borupalli and i'm going to repeat this from about 20 half an hour ago with dr rao introduced but i'll try to make it a little different let me see um so brother shekhar berupalli hails from a well known educational center in andhra pradesh guntur uh, which has also produced many scholars in telugu sanskrit english and economics he earned a phd in biochemistry from the prestigious indian institute of science bangalore and held research faculty appointments in biochemistry at the university of texas southwestern medical center in dallas texas with over 18 years of research and development experience and with over 25 publications and over 35 patents brother shaker served as the vice president of discovery at galileo pharmaceuticals and as global consumer research and development lead for the monsanto company his current quest is on the vedas and veda mantras especially shri rudram which is a vedic mantra or a chant in homage to shri rudra an epithet of shiva taken from krishna yajurveda's taitriya upan sahimita and also devi mahatmyam which is the hindu philosophical text describing goddess as a supreme power and creator of the universe he led the recently concluded chandi homa and atirutra mahayagna which very beautifully is acronymed as charm uh, 2022 just in a few weeks ago at sacramento california which is by the way his eighth atirutra mahayagna he is visiting us from sacramento california 
with his wife, Sister Hema. And we look to give a very warm welcome to Brother Shekhar Wudupalli, who will talk to us for the next an hour and a so. Sairam, please welcome. Om Sri Sai Ram. Pranam said the lotus feet of Bhagawan, Sri Sat Sai Baba, and to all the devotees that are joining from several places I see from Atlanta, from Dominican Republic, from all over the US, probably a little early for my brothers and sisters in California. <laughs> Hearing about what brothers were sharing about me, all of that really doesn't matter. What ma matters is that we are all loving and serving Bhagwan, and that's the most extreme, prestigious, lifelong title that you want to keep. Servant of Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba. That is the only introduction that matters. But comes with that, with the badge, comes the burden. <laughs> and so... Bhagwan's uh, immense grace and blessings are always there when we love and serve all. And this satsang, even though he wanted me to share for one hour, I want to make it a little different. Uh, there are a lot of people here and also that are online that participated in this uh, recently concluded uh, Chendi, Homa and Atrudra Mahayagnya, as brother said, uh, 2022. Very briefly, this initiative is Bhagwan's uh, incredible sankalpa. The centennial of Bhagwan Sri Satisai Baba is coming up in 2025. And uh, this is the first uh, yajnam that's offered for universal healing and peace. And that concluded in uh, Sacramento. The next uh, Yajna, which is Cham 2023. This was Cham 2022. Next one is Cham 2023. Will be in Croatia, in a place called Kranjak, which is about 45 minutes uh, away from Zagreb. And uh, this particular place is uniquely blessed with Bhagawan's presence. And we conducted an Atirudra Mahayajnam for the first time ever in the history of humanity in Europe in 2018, celebrating Baba in 2018. And there were 500 devotees that joined out of 500 people, 465 were 100% Europeans, non-English speaking, non-Indian. And there were 35 people in brown color that were the priests, Myself and Bhagavan. <laughs> uh, Sister Kusma was there. And uh, it was uh, quite an experience to see 465 people, including Russians, uh, Germans, Spanish, Italians, uh, chanting Rudram without seeing a book. And for 11 days, the Yajna Kanda was conducted. And they built a house for Bhagawan called House of Unity in 80 days. And that is the place the next Cham 2023 is going to happen. In 2023, July, last week of July, will be the Yajnam in Croatia. If you have not joined the quote-unquote army, Atirudra Maha Yajnam, uh, it's not too late, never too late for recruitment. <laughs> and there is no age limit. <laughs> it, there is no age limit. Huh? It is never late to join the mission of Baba. You are never too late to join the mission of Baba. So there are still people that think, oh, Rudram, oh my God, it is so complex. How can I chant? Russians chant Mahanyasam without seeing the book. Without seeing the book, they chant the entire Mahanyasam. And there was, this was the experience in Badrinath. We conducted a yajnam in Badrinath. 
ಅತಿರುದ್ರ ಮಹಾಯಜ್ಞ ನೈಂಟಿಯತ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಡೇ ಸೆಲೆಬ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸತ್ಸಾಯಿ ಬಾಬಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಅತಿರುದ್ರ ಮಹಾಯಜ್ಞ ವಾಸ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಬದ್ರಿನಾಥ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಆಲ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ನೋ ಯಜ್ಞ ವಾಸ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಬದ್ರಿನಾಥ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಎವರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಟ್ರಕ್ ಲೋಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ವರ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಡೌನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಡೆಹ್ರಾಡೂನ್ ಟು ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕಂಡಕ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಯಜ್ಞ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಟ್ರಕ್ ಲೋಡ್ಸ್ and there was a yagnam conducted in tiruvannamalai so this is an army that's happening and be part of the so you may ask the question why do i need to chant uh, rudra why can't i just simply do service why can't i simply do this this is the mind game huh? the mind whenever it doesn't want to do something will find an escape route huh? yeah if i am this it's okay you know i don't have to do this. but actually i'm i'm telling you with personal experience and this is not words of simply philosophy this is the truth when you actually push your limits beyond your comfort zone that is when you will allow god to enter until then he will be outside only he will not enter that doesn't mean go jump off a you know new york state building or something like that but when you actually undertake the work that is beyond the capacity of a human being and with that intensity and prayer god will step in until then he will be actually allowing you to play your own game and that's called maya <laughs> and until then he will not even interfere so even this charm 2022 it was a lot of people complained that it it ended too soon it was only 5 days huh? but the amount of love and the service that has gone into this beautiful yagna one can only experience god through this kind of service activities it is not a yagna in the context of a hindu spiritual context if you have seen the pictures of uh, the altar one side was bhagwan and the side was jesus the christ and you have no idea how many emails i got from quote and quote hindus that we are blaspheming hinduism by putting jesus in the yagna because we don't celebrate love limited to one faith uh, you see these beautiful symbols that are here bhagwan doesn't represent a single faith and the people that participate in this yagna don't come from hinduism the 465 europeans that i talked about they do not belong to hinduism but they learn they chant rudram and truth be told that many of them said they became better christians after learning rudram and understanding the meaning of rudram because the very first mantra of the rudram itself is a symbol of christianity you may be shocked now Hmm? very first mantra of sri rudram is a symbol of christianity what is symbol of christianity the cross what is this we say the cross like this bhagwan explained so beautifully he said the essence of the first mantra of rudram is christian symbol namaste rudra manyava utota ishave namaha namaste astu dhanvane bahubhya mutate namaha manyava means the the wisdom the gnana shakti manyava utota ishu is the arrow or the thought dhanvane mind bahu shoulders i bow to the lord who is in my heart the essence of the entire wisdom may that wisdom motivate my thought and my mind may that thought that is coming through my mind be launched with action with my hands this is the meaning of the first mantra of rudram the meaning of the first mantra of the rudram is oh god of anger i bow to your anger i bow to your arrows i bow to your bow i bow to your shoulders what god is not a terrorist there is no anger with god god is the essence of the wisdom the heart god is that heart from which the thought which is the arrow that is propelled by the bow of the mind into action by the shoulders 
So when I was chanting this mantra, Bhagavan showed like this, Namaste Rudra Manyava Utota Ishave Namaha Namaste Astu Dhanvane Bahubhya Mutate Namaha I was chanting the mantra, Swami was doing like this. And I said, Swami, what? He said, the essence of Christianity or any religion is the unity of the heart, the head and the hands. Three H's. This is the essence of Christianity. How many Christians understand this? The cross is not about doing like this is not the cross. Swami also said very beautifully, cut the eye across. When you take the eye and you cut it across, then it became the cross. So Christianity represents the incredible spirit of sacrifice in love for humanity. Na karmana na prajaya dhanena tyage naike amrutatpamana shuhu egneshwaraya vidmahe esunathaya dhimahi tanno tyagi prachodaya at. This is Esugayatri. He is the Yajneshwara. What is the Yajna? The Yajna is about sacrifice. Sacrifice what? <laughs> the fundamental sacrifice is the sacrifice of the eye and the mind. Only when you put the eye away, hmm? only when you put the eye away, put apart eye, put apart eye, puttaparti. What is the spelling of puttaparti? Put apart eye. That is the spelling of puttaparti. It is not written put apart high, you know. How many of our brothers say, I went to put apart high. I went to put apart high. Yeah, you didn't go to put up. If you put apart I, that is the essence of Tyagam. That is the essence of Yajna. And so when this Yajna is conducted, you sacrifice your time. You sacrifice. It is incredible sacrifice. And can you imagine how many people have imagined? That by March, all the mask mandate will be lifted. By March, an epidemic will turn into an endemic. A pandemic turned into an, an endemic. And people were able to participate. Of course, we followed whatever the government rules and regulations are. Only those that were vaccinated were mandated to come for the yajna. And with that, what I'm going to say is in the next few minutes, I would, uh, so uh, very briefly, the Yajna is the first one in the context of Bhagavan's centennial celebration. Yajna is not about very simply coming and chanting mantras and offering into the thing. Yajna is fundamentally about service, adoration, illumination. When we did the Yajna in Badrinath, 190 homes across the entire Badrinath area Service was done. Amrita Kalashams were distributed like Grama Seva. None of this is publicized, marketed, nothing. Even Cham 2022, none of it is marketed. And no, no fundraising was conducted. Nobody was asked a single penny to be donated. It's all from the heart. And it happens meticulously, flawlessly. And I can tell you, it only happens with Bhagavan's grace and sankalpa but the human effort is then fun is energized and enthralled and enchanted by this presence of bhagwan and uh, with that uh, let me ask uh, maybe srinivas um, rao garu first to come and share a few words about the yajna and his experience and then srinivas and uh, chandrasekhar and bhagwan and kusuma so we'll go through the hall very brief briefly and then Two minutes each, what your experience of the Yajna is, and then I will say some concluding words. Sai Ram said. Because we had invited you for that. <laughs> <laughs> can you give a little introduction so that, you know, I can tell what, you know, my experiences are? But... Yes. So, leading to this Yajna, leading to this Yajna, it's not a Yajna that was conducted for five days. It was a Yajna conducted for more than two and a half years. In March, when the pandemic hit, and there was a shutdown. We started with Atiruddra Parayana, means chanting Rudram 11 times 
every day for 11 days. Can you guess how many people joined online to chant Rudram every day for 11 times? Can you take a guess? Just guess. Put, take a number. We require at least 121 for an Atrudra Parayanam. So that is minimum 121 people. Can you guess? 500. 1000. 1000. Higher. If it is lower, I will stop. Yeah. Yeah. 1000. What? Oh, that would be a dream. <laughs> I thought you would pick 1 million. <laughs> no, it is it is very true that only when Bhagavan wills, you will be able to chant the Rudram. When Bhagavan thinks about you, you will be able to come to him. Not when you want to come to him. Yes? Is that making sense? It doesn't make sense. I'm telling you, for 99% of the people, it won't make sense. But the truth is, when Bhagavan wills, you will be able to know him. When Bhagavan knows you, you will be able to know him. Not the other way around. You can't enter this place without Bhagavan willing that you should enter this place. 1,600 people joined online from 38 different countries when the pandemic hit the world. And we were supposed to conduct in 2020 an Atridra Mahayagna in Rishikesh. And uh, Bhagavan came in the dream and said, not physical yagna, conduct jnana yagna. He said, every week, tell the inner meaning of what this Rudram means. Every word by word meaning of Rudram. How it applies to a human being, not to a Hindu not to a Christian, all the religions, the humanity, that meaning was shared. It was like nobody conducted a Rudra Jnana Yajna. You might have heard of Gita Jnana Yajna. Gita Jnana Yajna, um, Swamiji used to conduct, Chinmayananda. Gita Jnana Yajna. Rudra Jnana Yajna, Swami said, so many devotees chanted, 1600 people for 11 days. Now they should now go into the deeper meaning of this Rudram. Share that meaning with the Everybody. So for 52 weeks during the pandemic, 52 weeks, we did Rudra Jnana Yajna. After that, and during this period, every day, at least 150 people were joining online to chant Rudram. So this Yajna was not conducted just like that. There was so much of love and devotion poured because people were earnestly, honestly playing for the healing and the peace of the whole world. And then, from starting from last September, for how many weeks, or until March, we did Devi Mahatmyam, the 700 beautiful mantras about the glory of the Divine Mother, and heliating all the 10 asuras that are within us. And that was done. And leading after that, then there was 120 days of sadhana, by at least 200 people and every day you, the East Coast was doing at 7.30 in the morning. After that, Yajna was conducted. And this place was 25 acres of land in a place called Orange Vale. Orange Vale. <laughs> uh, you know the color and you know what Vale represents, right? Vale is Murugan's uh, uh, Vale, his Aidam, Vale. So in, or in a place called Orange Vale, Bhagavan decided to do this Shata Chandi Sahita, which is 100 times of uh, Chandi Parayanam. Chandi is the Shiva Shakti Yajnam. This is the truth ever in the history of United States of America. 300 people sitting and chanting Rudram every day and doing two times Parayana of uh, Devi Mahatyam with Chandi Homam did not happen in the United States. That's a fact. I can tell you that because there were priests that came and participated in so many yajna and they were saying we never had this big homakundas to offer and it's a miracle that happened. Why they don't have big homakundas? Five foot by five foot depth homakundas, seven feet outside were constructed by devotees, not by masonries. 
and those uh, homakundams and a heart homakundam was also was also made four feet by four feet and you know why fire department of california by fire code will not give permission to conduct fire in that magnitude ever in the history of california how fire marshal fire marshal is here <laughs> <laughs> who is the fire marshal he is the fire marshal he is the one controlling the fire the earth the water the wind and the space everything in the moon and the sun everything is controlled by this fire marshal and it is a miracle until 2 weeks before the yagna we were not sure if the yagna will happen or not because you see if god simply gives like that we will take him for granted huh yes so he wants to make sure you yearn Y E A R N. <laughs> you yearn for it, and when you yearn so intensely, and so many devotees play, I did not even want to share anything about all of that stuff because we had to do hundred and eight times of Durga Sukta Homam. How many homams have happened? How much prayers have happened? It's intense tapas. That's what is called penance. That when until God comes, one girl will be standing on one one of his legs and doing penance. That is it. It's like that. you have to do penance for god to give you the boon to conduct a yagna and guess what 2024 is your chance <laughs> 2024 is sarvadharma center 2023 is croatia 2024 is sarvadharma center and why sarvadharma center if you look at our center altar and if you look at this altar identical this is east coast prashant lem we are west coast and there is one in far east <laughs> <laughs> so and this place is full of energies full of swami slav you enter the you drive into this place i feel that in the core of my cell i feel that and after that yagna happens you will have a different building much bigger building sai ram's grace will come Uh, because swami said when we wanted to conduct you know build a spiritual center at this place in orange vale swami came in my dream and he asked me hey what are you doing uh, uh, about this building how far the plans have come i said swami we are waiting for all the cpac permits and all of that stuff swami said do a yagna why you want to do yagna after you build the building do it before you do the building and i said before how am i going to share with my people that we have to do a yagna and it is not going to be a, a small task to conduct a yagna with so many number of people but the rest of it is his story and we don't need to go into that so many miracles i can go on and on and on so many so when i say miracle don't think that it's an unnatural thing a miracle is not an unnatural thing in fact the appropriate word to describe what bhagwan does to us whether it is a vibhuti or whether it is honey or whether it is anything that's happening it is not a miracle a miracle in english means an unnatural thing that looks like natural what bhagwan does is not unnatural you check the meaning of the word miracle in a dictionary miracle is not unnatural what bhagwan does is vibhuti the appropriate word for what bhagwan does is all of it is is vibhuti vibhuti means natural manifestation of the grace of god it is absolutely natural bhagwan was seeing in the yagna sala walking one time away in a picture and there is incredible amount of love that he makes things happen no out of the blue somebody will show up and do the entire work just like pandranga shows up to serve his devotees so many of them gora kumba and all those people now he asked me to share about this i can i get carried away talking about uh, about bhagwan only right and so all of the so getting these fire permits and getting this massive tents the main yagna the main prayer hall where we put kalashams and everything was 6000 square feet single tent Okay, <laughs> six thousand square feet. Have you ever seen a big tent like Sai Sarama? No. And with twenty-five avatars of all the Shiva avatars and Bhagwan. It was. It's simply uh, thinking back about it. Then you know, 
nothing was done by a human being. It was the divine working through the human. And Bhagavan says that is what his avatar is about. Jeeva pragnato patu daiva pragna. It is 100% the divine working through the hands and heads of a human. But you have to allow it to happen. This is the trick. 99.9999% of the time, we do not allow that grace to flow through. It's just like sitting in a room with all the windows closed and there is full sunshine outside. What do you have to do to get the sunshine in? Open a window. If you just shut it and sit inside, the moment you open it, not even fully, a little bit like that, the sun is going to come in immediately, instantly. He is not going to wait at your window. May I come in, sir? Will he do that? Absolutely not. He will gush in. Light will come in. All our windows are closed. Our eyes, our ears, all these windows are closed. When you truly open any one of those windows, seeing the God in every particle, to listening to God in every particle, to feeling the God in every particle, you don't even have to do it all the time. At least sometime, <laughs> then light will gush in, grace will come in. And when that happens, you will be watching things unfolding. How did I know? I'm sure, I'm 100% sure I know Ravgaru has shared so many things that have happened with this place. How this place came into existence. It's because God willed. And when He wills. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> so, with that's okay. Somebody wants to share. So there, there are people online um, that have joined uh, also that they would like to share a few words. Maybe our Dominican Republic, maybe we'll open with you. Just share a few words, Sonia. Yes. Can you share her screen, sir? Yes. Sonia, yes, we can hear you. You want to speak? I'm sorry, Ram. I'm sorry, sorry Ram. Ram, brother. We're happy to see you again. I feel so blessed for being part of this wonderful experience. I really can't. I have no words to say what we re re read there and how we still feel. We still can hear the, the priest chanting every time, every day. So uh, we're looking forward to the next experience in Croatia. Hope, hopefully, Swami allows us to be there next year. Thank you so much for inviting us. Sairam, Thank brothers you. and sisters. Sairam, Sairam. Can you put on gallery view, uh, Mahesh Garu? And then on that screen? And then if you put the gallery view, you will see all the people. This is the, the true yajna is conducted not by one person. This is Sahasra Sirisha Purushaha. Sahasra Kshas Sahasrapat. Sahasra Sirisha Purusha, thousand heads and thousands of hands, but only one heart, and that is Swami. Yes, okay. Now you can, uh, uh, Raju, go ahead, Dr. Raju. I thought you will be present in person, divine presence. Can you see Raju? Yeah, you can spotlight him, sir. Okay, there you go. Now, speak, Raju. You have to request him, sir. Can you make me? Uh, Sairam, uh, everyone, hum with the humble pranams at the lotus feet of Bhagavan Sri Satya Sai Baba. <clears throat> it has been an incredible journey being present in any of these Atirudra Mahayagyams, which was conducted by Brother Shekhar Bodupali and uh, Sri, Srimati Haima, uh, his uh, wonderful wife, and the wonderful team of people. And after a spell of so many years, I, we got the opportunity to be with uh, 
all the rest of the team, the uniqueness of this Atirudra Mahayagyams, which uh, Shekhar was conducting was, unlike the traditional ones, all the boundaries are wiped out. There is no caste. Every religious person was present. And every aspect of every religion is invoked. Whether it was the Badrinath, whether it was in Atlanta, whether it was in Thiruvannamalai, whether it was in Croatia, Bhagavan was present in every moment and every second with everyone's experiences that has just given an incredible experience. As a physician, uh, I came into this fold of a shaker along with the rest of the brothers under the umbrella of Bhagavan Sri Sach Sai Baba. This was a wonderful offering of 11th uh, Aradhana Mahotsam. How is this charming? I just wanted to uh, dwell on that just for a, a minute. This is charming because this Vignam has happened in a unique way wherein it happened, as he said, it was in Orange Vale. Sri Ramanavami was happening simultaneously. Hanuman Jayanti was happening. And uh, Good Friday was happening. Passover, Easter, Zoroastrian people's celebrations. Is this not so charming how Bhagavan has orchestrated this through his shoulders to happen such an incredible event wherein the love of people from all over the globe was pouring into that land. Every particle of that land is sanctified with 120 days of chanting and 30,250 times of chanting Rudram. Is that not a, an incredible opportunity for every one of us to be present? And you, simultaneously chanting 700 mantras of Dev Mahatyam. I'm, I, this was an incredible opportunity. I can't wait to tell everyone to join this Shiva Shakti Mahayagnam in uh, 2023. Jai Sairam. Thank you, Rajgar. Thank you. Okay, we'll ask requests. Anmantra, we have to say a few words. Sairam, it's very difficult to follow what um, Brother Shekhar and Dr. Raju have mentioned. That was my first experience. I had never been to uh, Charm, or I was, I was charmed before, or armied before. Uh, but that was an ex extremely wonderful experience that I'm looking forward to in the next three, three times, at least. And many more afterwards, yes. So the, the place was wonderful. It was a 25-acre uh, clear land without much um, ups and downs. And they, they did work a lot on that. They flattened some of the areas. And they had three tents uh, erected. And the erection of all these things is not important. What is really important is the people behind that. There were so many volunteers doing everything they did and were doing very diligently and with love. There was not one person who was angry, who was, you know, you know say nothing of that sort. And they were extremely nice to everybody. And their arrangements were top, the best. I, I wish you had mentioned more about that yourself because you, you have been in it. But I can tell you from what uh, Brother Shaker told us, there was about 650 kilograms of uh, pounds of uh, paddy that were used. 2,500. Thank you, sir. I'm, I'm very good at mathematics, as you can see. So that's only one fourth of what exactly happened. So 2,400, uh, 2,500 pounds of paddy. Paddy is the you know, unprocessed rice um, with the husk on. That is very difficult to get it in the first place in this country. And if you see that, it's clean, like every single grain was cleaned with water, with you know, everybody looking at it and cleaning it. It was such a clean, I've never seen that. And all these 2,500 or so pounds were donated by people, one person, right? And no, they were expecting to be charged about $7 per pound or something in that neighborhood. And the man says at the last minute, man, you're in it. We actually got 4,500 pounds. Uh -huh. We only used half of it, rest of it went to temple. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's 4,000 then. We, we, are, growing, we are growing by numbers, by, by minutes. 
<laughs> so, so, and then these were, they only had to pay, as he said, to bring them down in the elevator. The, the guy who was operating the elevator needed to be tipped. That's all they tipped, $100. So $100 for 4,000 pounds of paddy in the United States. Okay, that's him. Who else, who else can accomplish that, something like that? Right? That's only one of the little ones that I could remember and I was informed about. There must be uh, hundreds of these miracles, not really, but you know, we call them miracles, unfortunately, um, that must have happened um, in, the, in, the, in the conduct of the Ignya. And all of them, whoever came, was so engrossed in it, people didn't care how the weather was. Brother didn't mention about the weather. Weather in California, everybody thinks, oh, I can go in my t-shirt and, uh, you know, pants, half pants. And indeed, if you had done, done there, all of, the, all of you would have frozen, <laughs> right? So in, in, in uh, middle of April in California, in uh, Sacramento, the temperature was in the 30s and 40s. Never heard of it in the past. People who lived there tell you they have never seen this kind of a weather before. It was not just the, just the temperature, it was raining one day. So two days, it rained two days out of five, it rained and the place could have been a mess really, except for the guy, you know, for his grace. And they did a wonderful job of covering the place very well with turf. And uh, I mean, there are several things that we need to learn and, learn and follow here in order to make it wonderful really. So, I'm thankful that uh, you've considered Sarva Dharma in 2024. We will do, uh, thank you, thank you. So Swami's grace, we will be able to accomplish it. And as Swami said about this building, Swami's grace is on this project. And by Swami's grace, this will be accomplished. But human effort is needed. That's exactly what he, those are three sentences. So if you all put in our efforts, and the other thing that he mentioned, and I liked it, and that's exactly what I followed all the time, is don't think you cannot do anything. Don't think you're not capable of doing it. You are capable of doing it because you are not you. If you think that Swami is within you, there is absolutely nothing you can do. He does everything through you. This is an ex extremely wonderful example, closest to my heart, which resides in my heart, okay? I could never have um, imagined or even dreamt that something like this would come up. Yes, we, heard, we worked hard, we yearned, we cried, all of that. But at the end of it, you get something like this. So I think we need to work towards that. We need to get our uh, volunteers together. We need to talk to our township people. We need to talk to our neighbors and uh, make them understand what we're doing and cooperate with us and see how we can proceed from today on, actually. And of course, you know, people, people have asked all the time, how much did it cost? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think, you know, he doesn't have a dollar figure either in his mind. Okay? Am I right? Or you, you, you could possibly have some. I can say a few words. Yeah, please. So, so that's, that's why I think we, we all need to get involved. And like uh, the brother said, we, you know, it's never too late to participate in Swami's uh, mission. And this is the most wonderful mission that we all are involved in. And so please join us. And by Swami's grace, Let's all work together, and by Swami's grace, this will be accomplished. Thank you, Saira. So a few words, right? Resources. Resources. Resources doesn't mean money. Money is the least of the resources we should be worried about. <laughs> Sounds funny, but that's how Swami works. He told me very clearly, don't ask anyone for anything you need something you put your head on my feet this is the only place where requests will be submitted and asked for and what what Rao Garu was saying 
4,500 pounds of dried, cleaned, pristine, mid-grain, calrose, rice, available 25 minutes from my home. <laughs> huh? And this person just saying, how much you want? And he's not, it's Tom, Dick and Harry, some farmer. We have absolutely no idea who that person is, who that farmer is, nothing. Just come and pick up when you want to come. It costed us for the U-Haul truck and giving the person the, just a token of appreciation for him waking up at 6.30 in the morning and opening up the elevators. And like this, entire material for the yajna just came from devotees. People carrying suitcases, suitcases, lo loads of dhotis, everything. Because the shipment is so expensive during pandemic and shipments were three, four months delayed. So all the material from India, 400 dhotis, 400 whatever, 400 saris, all material, everything came from India with devotees carrying in suitcases. Like this, I can go on and on and on. Why money is the least important? Because if the mind is focused on money, it will not focus on God. I can tell you that. Can you imagine what it would have costed to conduct a yajna 11,000 feet altitude in Badrinath for 11 days, feeding 500 people every day? You just do the math. But we never did the math. We never said, how much is it going to cost for the yajna? Who is going to pay for it? Nothing like that. But it all happens flawlessly. See, people will text me, do you need money? How much money you need? What is the budget? for this yajna. Huh? What is the budget for the yajna? How much should I be thinking? You think about budget, he will not step in. You go figure it out. How do you operate like this in the world, sir? You may ask this question. But the fact of the matter is, that's the beauty of allowing him to step in. That is the beauty of allowing him to step in. And um, would, my God, you know, uh, we had, we got 13 cords of wood. We used it, 10 cords of wood for the yajna. And uh, it was, uh, um, I, I know, is Pavan online? I think uh, I saw, I saw Pavan uh, Srinivas is online. Yes, Thaluri. So I, there are people here that are the Hanumans. You, not just you, but also we also have. <laughs> 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 uh, so, um, so just uh, so Gauri Gauri Shankar, I think he he wants to share Gauri. Sorry, Gauri Kumar Chandramoli uh, from uh, Seattle. Yes, brother, you can share. Yes, go ahead. Yes, uh, Seattle, Seattle. Sairam, Sairam to everyone. So it was such an incredible thing to be present there, and so much of energy was there. Like as as everyone was saying that. It's so cold out there, but I didn't have to wear my jacket. It was so incredible energy, love being shared with so many people out there. And and many of them I've never met in my life. And so much of energy, so much of love between uh, shared with uh, all, all, all among them <laughs> at that place. I just want to share uh, uh, just a few uh, pictures from... Uh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, keep it the, keep it brief, Kana. Most yes, important pictures. Yes, okay. Yes. So, <laughs> so this is the hall which uh, we were talking about, and it's coming up. Oh, is he share, able to share his screen? I can see his screen. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. Yes, everybody, I can see from here. You want me to turn my screen around? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Keep, keep talking, brother. Yeah. And as you could see, like, uh, 
300 people chanting all of them the rudram at that point of time it was creating so much of vibrations it was so beautiful and and as sekhar ji always says that like uniform uh, everyone coming in the dhotis and the women in the sarees uh, all that added so beautiful uh, thing uh, to it and the effort of all the volunteers right like there is this shloka in bhagavad gita ananyas chintayanto mam yejana paryupasite tesham nitya vyuktanam yoga kshemam vaham yaham so uh, this is very famous for the life insurance code yoga kshemam vaham yaham so uh, if you chant uh, sai ram if you chant uh, the, the name of the lord i will take care of everything that's that's something we could actually see in that uh, 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 during those four uh, uh, during those uh, that uh, that uh, that week uh, where if we just have to chant it everything else was taken care by the volunteers with so much of love like we just had to sleep wake up at 6 6:15 and then like the vans were ready to shuttle us to the farm uh, the yagnasala and then everything was taken care uh, for us so well and that's this one of the i mean so so as i say right like the, the the only time we live is we left we live for the others or the, that's the real uh, time we have spent or left nizavaina jeevitham ane oka jeevinchaam ante parula kosam and in the full uh, uh, in the chanting of the god all the time namaskaram this one week was what i could say as okay i have lived my full extent in this one week uh, sairam sairam thank you brother sairam. thank you and uh, talking about volunteers we had sse the sai spiritual education students from group 3 group 4 yeah. ya amazing entire registration was managed by them and uh, as you can uh, appreciate it right it was never so cold in california this kid this children were standing you know rain or shine they were there taking temperatures of the people and 500 people every day taking last day we had more than 1200 people all of this not publicizing i am honest with you the, not a single newspaper media was contacted not a single uh, you know poster were created and put on india stores and things like that nothing like that only who bhagwan wanted to come was present and that is the reason and that see i share with people when bhagwan why bhagwan did not leave puttaparthi and go outside of the country if he had done that an organization would absolutely would cannot manage that without swami stepping out of india he created such a massive organization which is becoming many organizations now can you imagine what what <laughs> what, what would have happened if bhagwan stepped out of india the whole world coming to his feet humanity there is no human mind and intellect that would have been capable of managing that massive organization this is the truth when he went to delhi he said this he went after many decades to delhi and it was impossible to control the crowd then he said very beautifully you see how much inconvenience i caused to my devotees by doing this that is his love which god would actually say that he said if i went out these people would not be able to manage all this crowd all this paraphernalia etc so out of his love he didn't publicize himself so just feel how lucky we are that he allowed us to know him out of 6.5 billion people same thing happened with cham we i never and this is the truth spoken at his lotus feet i don't send emails to any email list outside of my veda study at googlegroups.com if somebody subscribed to that group they will get information about the events if they did not subscribe to that group they will not i won't ask sai centers go publish my email or do this never never ever because that's his instruction don't ask anybody to do anything 
i will take care of everything and one gentleman completely came forward and did the entire food service for the all 10 days hello <laughs> that's that's giving that's feeding breakfast lunch snacks and dinner average 500 people per day four meals a day plus tea and coffee everything was done completely with gratitude at bhagwan's feet why ask huh? why ask he will show the path and he was so grateful that he was allowed to do that service and absolutely and i can go on and on some person from out of the blue has why you are giving only two two dhotis to the people please give four every day they should wear one ha huh? <laughs> and and sarees you know that is <laughs> that i should have said yes let's give five sarees one saree a day so that i don't have to deal with the saree business ha huh? so ha <laughs> huh? so that is the love that is the love that is present and then i said sir please i i just cannot uh, i cannot accept it he has to this is his instructions if he says yes it will happen i am nobody ha huh? and and the people call and ask me how come we didn't get the invitation who who am i to send the invitation ha huh? swami used to say no in in public discourses nobody gets an invitation to come to puttaparthi only if bhagwan wills they will come to puttaparthi otherwise you cannot even enter the premises of puttaparthi and all this uh, incredible love that so that is service and adoration i spoke about adoration and illumination part okay who wants to who is going next uh, i want to oh you want to know about other miracles that happened in <laughs> uh, so the water we have to construct 11 homakund 12 homakundams and we have to construct construct these homakundams by hand a missionary said he will charge 2000 dollars per homakundam i said i cannot spend that swami's devotee's money is swami's money we cannot just spend devotee's money like that because it is swami's money and if it is my house yeah i will no, no even that is his house only so it is all maya that's once in a while we kind of get pulled into that huh? so bhagwan uh, you know when he went to delhi one of his oh, you know oldest devotees go came to went to him and said, swami come to my home and bhagwan looked at him and said you are home and then uh, he said no 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 swami our home our home 50 50 partnership <laughs> uh, our home then he said no 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 swami you were home then he said why you have to invite me to my home <laughs> so the maya is it is his yagya and he will uh, so we had to get water and the plan was to get a 500 gallon or whatever tanker to the site and water delivered we were all standing at, at that place and then i just told uh, brian grady who was the he said water will come here and he said what if you do like this water will come here how can water come there is no i said no 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 there is a uh, opening to the uh, pipe at the on the road let's go open it and if the meter is running then water will be running somewhere so we have to just go find it so we had 10 people on site 25 acres but uh, people started like a line looking at if they can hear any water leak and everything and right where right where oh he is still sharing pictures i am so sorry oh there he is yeah brian great now we are seeing the pictures so right where i told brian water will come bhagwan made the agnishala center of the agnishala right next to the homakundam where the chendi homam was water started coming up and there are pictures of all of this okay this is not uh, this is not uh, some stories this is real experience physical experience those were the beautiful homakundams that were uh, who is sharing now sai ram huh who is sharing the screen somebody is sharing the screen huh oh gauris okay okay so this is the 
homokundam and the water started sprouting right there. And all these homokundams, brothers and sisters, were actually constructed by devotees of Sacramento and Bay Area. And, uh, and they have worked. Uh, and children, children from uh, ages of 8 to 15, they were doing the paintings with these stencils and putting all these trishulams, damarus, everything. You see, this is all work of uh, all, the, all the devotees. Huh? Give them an opportunity. Swam, they will love it. Okay. <laughs> and all the carpets were rolled out by devotees and everything was done by devotees. So much seva, huh? so much seva that happens in, in Swami's name. Yes. Okay. Uh, who else wants to share very quickly? Anybody? Huh? Hi. Hi. Kusuma, Kusuma, come. Yes. Yes. Okay. Want to give her the mic, sir? Yeah. I'm 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 very grateful to the Sacramento brothers and sisters. Uh, it was a most humbling experience for me uh, because all other Atirudras, uh, we were so busy, and this was the Atirudra where I didn't have any work to do. And uh, it was a very humbling experience. They have set an example for other centers how to function as a team. And, um, and my wonderful brothers and sisters from Atlanta too. So thank you so much for all the van rides. And of all the Atirutras, the less emergencies we had. So that was very... <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> It was the most, uh, we were all so worried about uh, COVID and prevention and doctor's team and entire discussion about things and Swami really took care of it. And the beautiful thing is we had oxygen on, uh, you know, so we had places where there were, we lacked oxygen and we um, were able to pray Bhagwan in Mount Kailas as well as in Badrinath. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. But, you know, people going in for ARDS and everything. So um, here, which, you know, it was a wonderful experience. Thank you so much. Thanks. Oh, yeah. quick. Huh? Talk about your uh, Devi Matyam experience. Come. <laughs> 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 so that I don't have to be displaced. <laughs> Sai Ram, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it was an amazing, amazing, incredible experience. Um, I, I must say, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm so fortunate to have association with uh, uh, Shekhar Garu um, from 2014. We went for uh, Atirudram in Atlanta. Uh, that was the first one wherein um, Swami uh, has uh, made sure like people from all creeds, all genders, and you know, um, all from all religions, everyone participated in that Atlanta um, Atirudra Mahayagnam uh, army, whatever Shekhaji says. Um, to me, uh, you know, at the, and, and then we went to the Tiruvannamalai, and, uh, and this was the third one that I, I'm fortunate to participate. Um, this one, <clears throat> um, the for the Devi Mahatmyam thing that uh, Shekharji was talking about, um, we so, some you know, we were. Uh, uh, I was learning. I was trying to learn from uh, Vishnu Bhatla Garu, um, the, this Devi Mahatmyam, and then the Shekharji. One day, I was then I was talking to him. Uh, he he said that you know uh, we we are uh, planning to do the Atrudra Maha Mahayagnam with the Chandi Sahita. Uh, the you know uh, homosexual thing and uh, and he said like you know we are we'll be having uh, the practice sessions and uh, and he was he was asking like did you did you take the uh, uh, initiation okay and I said like um, I kept on telling him like I did this I did that I did this and I said like no no did you take the initiation and finally I said that I humbly surrendered to him. I said like what all I know is I, I learned from the guru but then the initiation that you you talked about, I have to take it. And then um, there was the one the in December, right? We had this initiation, yeah, December, and um, the about hundred hundred plus people, uh, more than hundred people uh, were present on the uh, Zoom call. Uh, everyone like fully uh, prepared, uh, and everyone was so so much excited, and and uh, um, 
and then like this this whole atirudrama yagnam like the you know the 121 days uh, um, uh, sadhana that we we, we call um, incredible like you know very intense um, and you know in the morning we all uh, as rao gaza was saying like you know, we all used to uh, start our day with nice uh, rudram and purusha suktam sri suktam samputta sri suktam and all that and then in the evenings we uh, we had this uh, uh, shekhar ji was conducting this um, devi mahatm classes and i'm telling like every every single session every single thing i mean even though it was so intense we we never felt that and quite frankly when the yagna was over we were all kusuma and we were all you know kind of chit chatting we said like what are we going to do like from tomorrow onwards and the, the feeling was like so you know i we it's like um we we were going to miss a, a important thing from our daily schedule you know <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly so uh and you know we, we are uh, and then all this is uh, whatever we are this this chanting thing is like probably 1% of whatever went into that mahat atrudra mahayagnam and that that whole uh, 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 event that swami put in place uh, you know i'm telling you like uh, as people say daivam manushya rupena like every single person uh, person that i have seen in that in that location in that uh, event uh, was literally uh, god given god sent you know and uh, they were uh, like not a single one i mean i haven't seen anyone like either angry or you know um hasty or whatever everyone like you see the smile you know divine smile on everybody's face and you know it's like um i as I, i was telling shaikar ji like you know a uh, uh, a few days back i said i was telling him all that i know is like you know i landed in sacramento and then uh, the next thing i know is like you know the 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 finale and i was like what it's already over I and mean, I I can't I couldn't I couldn't really believe that you know it it went like so fast so and um by the way shikhar garu when when he said like it went so fast it was not a complaint that's a loaded statement okay uh, noted noted no, no. But, but, uh, my point was like you know I I wish I wish like um, my only it, it was like uh, It's, it's like intense. Good intention. It's good like intention. it's like military training. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. I really wanted it to be a little bit longer, you know, uh, because you know I had, I had uh, but again, I, I I have no words. I have absolutely no words. And all all I could say is like I'm really really grateful to Swami Shekhar Ji and everyone who attended with me. And uh, uh, I I really pray Swami to give me the opportunity to participate in many Sir, more. Thank uh, you, Sairam. Sairam, let's go to. Chandrasekhar Ganeshan from uh, North Carolina. Chandrasekhar, go ahead. Sairama, you can uh, open your unmute, and we'll spotlight you. Can you hear me now, Sairam? Yes, we can hear you. Yes. All right, Sairam. So, thanks. Thanks so much uh, uh, once again to uh, I see you, uh, uh, Shekhar Ji. Uh, it was absolutely an incredible and amazing experience uh, it's i would say it's a great good fortune uh, to be able to participate in this uh, atirutra maha and uh, of course the satachandi yagnam uh, frankly i have not ever dreamt or imagined uh, uh, to be able to participate uh, in a yagnam because uh, of the various uh, uh, criteria to even participate in a yagnam and perform ahuti in, into the fire uh frankly uh, uh, four years ago i had an inner command that you know uh, uh, the the inner voice said that you know read read devi mahatmyam i did not know what to do uh, uh, after that you know of course my wife was saying that you know hey you should not take that uh, uh, lightly you should you should pursue to read devi mahatmyam but i said that you know this this voice would lead me to a teacher who can um, uh, who who will teach devi mahatmyam uh, to me so four years later out of blue uh, ravindra kandula from my uh, center uh, he sent an invite saying that you know hey there is this person by the name shekhar bodupalli is uh, is planning to teach uh, devi mahatmya would you be are you interested i immediately jumped down uh, and uh, you know excited uh, uh, i immediately signed up and uh, you know started the intense uh, uh, tapas or the sadhana uh, to prepare for uh, this uh, atirudra mahayagnam uh so while i was doing all these things uh, uh as shekhar ji mentioned uh, earlier uh, today 
uh, he said that you know you need to really push yourself uh, for god or uh, swami to step in uh, it it was very palpable experience for me uh, uh, two days prior to the event uh, i felt sick so i did not know what to do and uh, 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 it was i was running temperature i was physically not well and i was uh, uh, of course i decided that you know uh, it it was a dharma as mentioned in the rules and regulations of the the if you feel sick then you know you should not attend the yagna so i said that you know fair enough uh, uh, you know if devi uh, it is it is perhaps swami's decision not to attend so that's fine whatever sadhana that i did as part of the preparation perhaps is that's good enough but at the same time um, you know my wife was saying that you know okay it's okay um, even if you are not able to participate uh, the full yagna why not you ask them that you know if you can go and join in the middle if you feel all right so after two days of uh, the yagna i uh, somehow feeling started feeling all right uh so i asked my um uh, i know lead ravindra uh, and i also was texting with uh, shekhar ji that you know if i could uh, make it to to which he said that you know gladly uh, i uh, 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 he, i can so i immediately rebooked that because i canceled my uh, flight everything and then i once again rebooked and you know i was able to make it uh, on wednesday evening and then of course thursday was the actual um, uh devi mahatmyam parayana and then of course uh, friday we did the the satachandi uh, homam it was absolutely uh, 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 a great experience in fact i i immediately burst in tears after seeing uh, shekhar because you know it was literally like a student meeting uh, a teacher uh, in the physical form uh, absolutely um, uh, uh, thrilled and you know it was completely goosebumps even now uh, to having uh, uh, to meet uh, shekhar ji in person also uh, participate uh, in the yagna in fact uh, shekhar ji i did not share this with you you uh, started coming in my dreams and um, uh, oh sairam <laughs> hey you are you are putting me in trouble with your wife now <laughs> so you uh, don't tell your wife ha huh? please <laughs> so uh, it was absolutely amazing and this yagna actually uh, goes on uh, it's not that uh, physically it ended uh, this yagna goes on every day Uh, within ourselves um, uh, so um, um, it's once again my great good fortune to be able to participate uh, in this yagna and i really look forward uh, to the next year and the following years to be able to uh, uh, participate um, uh, you know and uh, deepen thank my sadhana thank, uh, thank you kana thank you sairam and uh, rudram sairam okay i think a lot of people raising hands now so venkat gangeshetty please keep it to 2 minutes and i am starting a timer now okay yeah yeah sairam <laughs> yeah okay so yeah. sairam everyone uh, like this is my first uh, tridrama yagna attending and i really enjoyed every bit of it and uh, uh, what i would like to say is very simply is you know like uh, as shagrana mentioned it is swami's will that anybody want anybody participates it is all swami's will not theirs so likewise you know like after attending the uh, mathurudra uh, mahayagna what i felt is you know i am praying swami to make me participate in the future athirudra mahayagnams not only just as the rithik or the dm rithik and also like i wanted to uh, do some volunteer work be beyond the scenes also that's what i want to praise swami and uh, apart from that one like you know everybody mentioned many things but you know like there apart from the atridra mahayagnam the uh, bliss of swami and then the uh, feeling the presence of swami like i felt the love of all the volunteers including the small volunteer like uh, one of the devotees son uh, srikanth vadde's son and also to the to the brain like what shekhana mentioned like everybody you know i felt the real love of all the volunteers and you know that's what you know like when swami is in charge you know, that's what happens sairam sairam thank you prasad garu go ahead and please open your video sir thank you oh my god you are in some shiny place enjoying the sun okay <laughs> sairam shekhar garu sorry um, i i could not make it but uh, i just want to say that you know one line when it was all over and we were coming back for the last time uh, on the evening one of the sisters sitting in the van said who is going to take care of us like this from tomorrow and and like she was meaning like what she was trying to say was that we were we were taken care of so lovingly that 
it touched my heart and i just want to share it with everyone that the love of the volunteers is 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 a silver lining in this whole experience for me um apart from of course bhagwan's grace and shekaran his grace of course i don't want to say this uh, to my wife and i'll come back home and i'll not have food at home <laughs> but, but we were say, taken care of so very well <laughs> by by the volunteers their love i satakoti pranam to all of those who were silent hands serving uh, to make this happen um, that's what i wanted to say and i'm i'm so sorry i couldn't make it um, there are <laughs> I, i i just want to add one more thing if i may i was not at all confident that i could make it to this program because of a number of reasons my health being one i don't want to go into too much into that but i'm not a very healthy person and it's only bhagwan's grace and and the love of the atmosphere and the power of chanting that made me through in fact i told sister vijay when i saw the program that i'm sure i'll 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 be sick at least one or two days during the thing that that's my usual thing i can't stress myself too much and it only it's only because of bhagwan's grace that i managed Sairam, thank you, Prasad Garu. I, I remember the conversation we had. It's just because it's just because of your grace. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's your inspiration, Swami's grace. Thank you very much. Sairam, Sairam. Okay, let's see, uh, Vijaya, Vijaya Krishnan. Ma, you want to speak a little bit? Can you hear me, Vijaya? Thank you, Prasad Garu. Okay, sir. How much time we have? Five minute warning. Sairam, Sairam Shekhar. Sairam. Ah, Sairam, go ahead, Mavi Jaya, please. Sorry, just joined a few minutes back only. Had other program, uh, Seva. I uh, want to say a, a koti pranam for you to organize this, and just wanted to mention two things. I'll be quick. The yagnya is not only the physical presence that we had at the yagnya, but it prepared us for you know weeks and months before, and there was an internal transformation in all of us, as well as the discipline that we adhered to. to prepare ourselves for so these two things have been there with us for every yagna which we have done with you shaker so we thank you for that and again the charm was just an unbelievable experience i was so glad that my whole family was able to join uh, charm and again i always remember karuna mai amma karuna mai's uh, words we don't choose to be at the uh, we are not there at a yagna or a puja because we want to it is the divine divine sankalpa that brings us together so that blessing also was has to be there for each one of us thank you and i on that note i want to say along with vijaya there were so many people uh, across uh, you know kavita from canada ramesh wudtu from uh, seattle area northwest area and ravindra kandula from uh, the south uh, east area and um, ravi addepalli and satya pat from uh, the atlanta area branimir gonan from europe why they he alive from india these were all the leads that were almost on a daily basis keeping in touch with people to take care of their arrangements their hotels their travel and it's uh, it's just uh, as i said only way to describe this is sahasra si risha purushaha you can see the virat swarupam of swami with a yagnam like this how many hands and heads actually are part of him and he is the one only working through each and every one of them so uh, chandar krishnan that took care of transportation pravin kambampati who is the center president srinivas talluri uh, pavan uh, jalla vaidehi alai prabhakar alai haima boddupalli lata ratish uh, anita jalla uh, i can go on and on i have to mention her name otherwise <laughs> uh so it's not just behind uh, every man but it is before every man there are lot of ladies who are doing incredible work and uh, you can imagine there were uh, more than 200 kalashams that were part of the yagna and every day they made more than 400 garlands every day 400 garlands for and there was malas the 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 malas that were there for bhagwan almond mala 
then uh, ginkgo biloba we call it in telugu jilledu arka pushpam and mala of that nemali pincham peacock feather malas uh, vert vertiver vertiver malas all these were adorned on bhagwan and on the panchamukheshwara every day you can imagine how many thousands of hours flower after flower they were putting together and meticulously managed material supply you know 70 liters of organic cow milk we know the farmer this is the other thing we did for the yagna we didn't want to buy the milk just from a grocery store and supply it we knew the farmer we knew the cows from which the milk came for the yagna that is to the level of detail that bhagwan has planned and they this farmer gave it 100% no money asked and he also sent the cow and the calf for coming to the yagna and the i can go on and on and write every one of them they 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 appear to be so little detail but in this country having a yagna like this with even knowing the cows that gave the milk for the yagna and we are so grateful to those cows and the calves that gave the the milk for the yagna and uh, uh, the um, the material that was you know meticulously you can you cannot imagine how much uh, focus and concentration you have to and volunteers in that cold washing the vessels even at 11 o'clock in the night so that they are ready for the abhishekam in the morning and it is uh, what can i say is there anyone who is yearning to oh, ravindra yes go ahead ravindra sairama i'll put you on a timer 2 minutes go <laughs> sairama na ah sairam chepna na so i feel the whatever we are doing swami's hand is there behind for all the things so i would just give one example with with short few exam one example at least i have seen in the way we organized the transportation so we all have seen we have been doing transportation vans and everything but one thing we noticed while getting the folks from airports we realized that we don't have a room for the luggage when we put all the passengers so while going we have been thinking how to handle this when there are so many folks want to go to airport right so we left to swami what can we do for this so suddenly the thought came why don't we use the cargo vans that we are having in in our ignishala itself so i feel that kind of guidance thought guidance is coming from swami for every activity we are doing there so i felt that's where is the swami's hand in every activity we did there so thank you very much that's all i want to share sairam sairam th- thank you sairam you finished in one minute thank you for that and uh, kamala and sudhakar from vancouver kamala and sudhakar have been on these journeys for so many beautiful almost almost done just couple more people and then we'll close up yes go ahead sairam Swami for giving us this opportunity to participate in this fantastic yagna, and my thanks from on behalf of all the Canadians who ent- who uh, participated, to all the volunteers, to you and uh, Hi Magaru, and I have never been in such a very rigorous. Every day it used to be a, quite a challenge. I used to be quite nervous uh, trying to learn Devi Mahatmyam with my wife sitting beside me and you asking us to recite. the shlokas in front of everybody it was it was a very very serious challenge for us and i noticed with the passage of time we were able to learn this better and got better and better the experience on the third day of the chanting when the ladies and the gents chanted devi bhaktam was absolutely exhilarating for me it was a fantastic experience and i thank all of you it was very nice to see everybody is the first time we saw everybody on zoom and we immediately recognize the faces as soon as we did <laughs> sai ram sai ram so ac- actually uh, what brother chandrashekar was saying is not coming in his dreams but in nightmares <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe i was <laughs> i'm i'm sure they are still sweating on uh, chanting devi matyam shlokams because that's the nightmares they are talking about and uh, one more person and then we will uh, close with uh, prayers to bhagwan and aarti to bhagwan i i have to say one thing we are talking about the people that came all the way 
and experienced the yajna in person there was a gentleman that came all the way from sydney australia sydney australia uh, i don't want to embarrass him saying his name but he came and unfortunately two days right the day before the yajna he was feeling sick and he tested positive so the entire yajna time he was sitting in his hotel in sacramento and watched the yajna entire on youtube live i want to say swami what incredible devotees you have created swami not a single phone call or an email from him frustrated or saying anything i was feeling so miserable for him every time i entered the yajna shala i said i am entering on behalf of this gentleman and i am entering on behalf of the family that came from australia and when i texted him how are you doing i feel so bad and he he writes to me one sentence swami has taught me what dispassion and detachment is through this yajna is the greatest blessing to be even few miles away and watching this event what an energy i can i feel that i am present in the yajna so to devotees like that that swami has given us company what more you want can you imagine we flying to australia all the way from here and doing sadhana for 121 days and yearning to be present in this yajna and somehow unfortunately because of health reasons you are not present but you still have that attitude of positivity and energy to say that swami taught me dispassion and detachment and that is uh, devotees like that i really offer my pranams and uh, i think uh, swati ayer harish suvarna okay ravin okay <laughs> i think we are i'm getting serious warnings from the from the floor here <laughs> uh swati go ahead quickly and harish and then we'll close with you guys okay sairam i feel bad that they have to share they're all on the zoom call for 3 hours and just uh, yes go ahead sairam swati so, so sairam everybody and i mean i am really really grateful to swami and of course uh, shekhar anna for giving us this uh, opportunity every year every month of his uh, uh, teachings and everything but one thing i just wanted to tell you and share with you that swami he just held me in that yagna shala and my son underwent a surgery as soon as the purna ahuti was done my husband said uh, you know krishna is not feeling well and when i went when i returned back to florida he went into surgery so he didn't give the surgery when it was the yagna was happening because you know he didn't want me to uh, not give me the fruit of this uh, intense sadhana that we went but he made it happen only after i completed this uh, yagna so i'm really really grateful to uh, bhagwan you know for all he does my, my back was hurting my knees were hurting he gave in the form of my sister gautami she bought a, a seat for me my other sister gave me a donut seat i mean how i don't know how he takes care of each and every one small small needs really grateful thank you so much sairam sairam ma sairam sairam okay harish sairam ma go ahead harish harish suvarna oh yeah oh thank you thank you very much sir so it was great uh, experience for me and then uh, i was so fortunate to be allowed to, there to wear that badge the moment i wore the badge my uh, pleasure was uh, unlimited so the the two things i uh, i want to say is one is that the uh, presence of panchabhutas it was raining shining wind so much happening from all the five panchabhutas but shekhar ji was undaunted so too was i because i am following him i am also undaunted let let it come but it will go and then the yajna will go uh, without any uh, breaks so that was one tremendous experience for me and then we in california uh, especially are in a drought and then we also have these fire accidents so i hope by the grace of swami these two will go away in california for the you know next decade or so or even more and i and i hope even elsewhere in the world also it will happen the same droughts and then fire accidents these things will go away 
and i'm so thankful to shekhar ji and, and all the volunteers tremendous experience looking forward uh, for the next one hi ram thank you and i will close with that all the sharing session and just uh, we installed this omkareshwara lingam the narmada lingam for the yagna the same lingam and the golden baba will be present here for the yagna also they are going to be going to croatia as well and bhagwan uh, before the lingam came from india 2.2 kilos almost 5 6 pounds of vibhuti materialized on that lingam and that lingam the vibhuti was shared with everyone bhagwan also materialized uh, this big uh, crystal for the uh, 21 crystals were materialized in the vibhuti and uh, it's uh, just uh, what can we say swami we will only share this love with everyone may the love we sharing spread its wings fly across the earth and bring new joy to every soul that is alive may the love we sharing spread its wings fly across the earth and bring new joy to every soul that is is alive may all the beings in all the worlds be happy swami samast loka sukhino bhavantu may all the beings in all the worlds be happy swami samast loka sukhito may the love we sharing spread its wings fly across the earth and bring new joy to every soul that is alive may the love we sharing spread its wings fly across the earth and bring new joy to every soul that is alive May all the beings in all the worlds be happy Swami samast loka sukhino bhavantu May all the beings in all the worlds be happy Swami samast loka sukhino bhavantu May the love we sharing spread its wings, fly across the earth and bring new joy to every soul that is alive. New joy to every soul that is alive. Om Shanti 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 Hi Sai Ram Sai Ram So thank you brother Shekhar for such a wonderful experience with all of you online um it's a very good motivation prime for sarva dharma for the prep work and you know you're telling all the details um i think it gives us enough headroom with a lot of experience to go through the longest headroom than anyone absolutely and i think i think we need it here <laughs> you know we do need it and uh, with all the guidance and all the experience i think we'll take that and one one thing which really struck me was about the orange whale you said you know orange and whale uh we had something similar here also in sarva dharma a day before the uh, tai pu sam i call it right which is the greatest occasion uh we had you know somebody was we were singing a subramaniam song and a mail came a peacock came and was speaking to the window uh it was there for almost uh, 45 minutes and a lot of our devotees were watching it on the phone so you know so orange will is already given us a prelude here for us <laughs> so um and every leela i can see you know i think what i would suggest is if you can 
either write a book or make another uh, documentary or something which we can help to prepare for all the experiences because these are experiences not ours or yours is swamis and it will you know give a message to everybody just like the samarpan programs we do so we really request humbly if you can do that okay absolutely so with that uh, we like to um, um, do a word of uh, little thanks for shekhar garu please no please do i understand but uh, you know you have been here you are the catalyst so um so dr rao and uh, let me see where venkat is please thanks again for coming and giving us a good talk he is putting the shawl on all of you who are feeling cold okay and <laughs> sir and more importantly i'm sorry to say that but more importantly i would like to have uh, sister vani garu felicitate um, sister haima garu also uh, for have making it happen And now we'll have the Maharti um, Shekhar Gauri. If you can please to come. Yes. Om Brahma Param Brahma Hari Brahma Naro Brahma Naram Brahma Yare Naram Naram Brahma Rana Sahaya Aram Bhaya Naro Bhuta Swaminam Deha Mastika.
बाबा जी की जय विश्वर और भगवान श्री साई बाबा जी की जय